Good morning, it's Thursday the 23rd of June. Sorry about yesterday, I somehow got the dates mixed up. Uh, if you have your Bibles, turn to Philippians chapter 4. We're going to read verse 8 together, because this is Coffee with God, and I've got a decent cup of coffee this morning. I hope you've got a decent cup of coffee as well. Um, Philippians is... Um, an incredible book. It's a book written by Paul while he was in jail. It's a short book, only four chapters, and yet it has incredible, incredible information for us. And what I want to focus in on here this morning is Paul, towards the end of this letter, says, Finally, brethren, whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is of good repute, if there is any excellence, and if anything worthy of praise, dwell on these things. Yesterday we spoke about the fact that uh, our living a life of faith is condemnation for those around us. And that invites a lot of negativity. It invites a lot of criticism. It invites a lot of opposition to how we live our lives. Um, and I want you to take this verse. Uh, I'm not going to break it out and break it apart and show you each of the, the things that he lists here. But just the, the general picture is, and what I want to encourage you to do is, just as you hold on to your faith in this day, hold on to that which is praiseworthy, that which is, is, is excellent, that which is good, that is the riches of good repute. So, so all these things, whatever is positive in your day, hold on to those and focus on those and be thankful for those and give praise for those. Uh, the negative, don't dwell on it. Don't focus on it. Experience it. You know, I was sharing with someone yesterday, uh, no, uh, two days ago, I was sharing with someone that emotions come at us uh, like waves in the sea. And uh, what we have to do is when a negative emotion or any sort of emotion comes towards us, we can try and push back at it. We can try and not allow it to to swell over us. But have you tried to stop a wave in the sea, especially if you're near the, the shore? Um, the best thing to do is to just grab some breath and rise up and allow the, the emotion to, to lift you to and you keep your head above it. And on the other side of the emotion, you come down and you touch ground again. Now the touching ground, the solid ground, the things that we base our decisions and base our life on are the list here that, that Paul gives in Philippians 4 verse 8. Uh, that which is true, honorable, right, pure, lovely, good repute, excellent, uh, worthy of praise, dwell on these things. When the negative, when the wave picks you up, when the, when the emotion, when the swell in the sea picks you up, don't fight it. Get picked up by it. But just wait until it passes and then you get back onto solid ground. And as you go through today, can I encourage you this uh, Thursday to, to stay grounded in that which the Lord is doing. That what the, that what the Lord did that he had a beer of me as. And you only have a beer of me as. Moenie, moenie op die negatieve oomblikke en die negatieve uh, gesprekke en die aanvallen focus nie. Focus op dit wat die Heere mee bezig is in jou leven, want hy is bezig om een plan te werk, sy plan. Hy het ons gesê uh, in die Bijbel dat hy vir ons goeie plan het, nie vir plannen wat seer maak en uh, vir verwoesten nie, maar plannen wat goed is vir ons. En hy is bezig elke dag om baie plan in en dier ons te werk. So, focus op die, dwell on those things, dwell on those things. It means the others come and they go. And we, we experience negative, we experience bad times, we experience low emotions. Uh, but allow the emotion to pick you up, feel it, go past you, and when you hit solid ground again, then you carry on moving and doing the things that you need to be doing in order to honor and uh, live the life of faith that God has called you to live. And I encourage you this Thursday um, to, to dwell on the things 
that the Lord is doing in and through your life. And if you, if you don't understand something that's happening, ask him to give you insight, to give you wisdom. We always look for answers, but we need to look for answers at the Lord's feet. Let him uh, give you the answers that you need. Uh, don't, don't try and fabricate or make sense of your life on your own. Do it with God. And uh, as you dwell on these right things, uh, you, will, you will be grounded and the results will be seen, not only by you, but by those around you. Have a wonderful day. Wonderful Thursday.